below there, this video will cover two ways to set the Linux passwords on a Chromebook. The first method will cover how to normally set the passwords, and then I'll also cover a no-fail method. This is a Media Blitz format that will allow me to share topics faster and keep pace with frequently updated topics. My channel focuses on adding the power of Linux to your Android, Chromebook, or PC without the need to root or remove your system. Additionally, I cover cross-platform topics. My playlists are available from the homepage on my YouTube channel and are organized by operating system and cross-platform topics. To make it easier to follow along with my videos, I include the full written instructions in the pinned comment. So if you scroll down to the comments of the current video you are watching now, you will see the top pinned comment containing the written instructions. To see the whole comment, click on Read More. Any updates will be noted at the top of the pinned comment. Note that you can copy and paste the notes into a text file like I have here with the mousepad text editor. Or, if you're feeling fancy, we can copy and paste the notes into a tiddlywiki notebook, also known as Flexible Offline Searchable Notes. Here, I pressed the backtick key from the top left of the keyboard so that there are three backticks before and after the text. This will apply monospaced block formatting. Keep in mind that you can modify the notes however you'd like, whether that's formatting, adding images, or changing what's in the notes. For more information on TiddlyWiki, I recommend watching my TiddlyWiki videos. That concludes the intro, now onward to the video. To set the Linux passwords normally after starting the terminal app, we can do who am I without any spaces, and this will print out the user ID. Now that we know our user ID, we can execute sudo space pass wd space our user ID. This will let us set the password for the user ID. From here, we'll have to type in our new password twice. Keep in mind, we won't see the password while we are typing it in. Also, if we ever forget our password, then we can set it again at any time with the passwd command. To set the password for the root user, we can execute sudo space pass wd space root. From here, we can set the password for root. Again, like before, we will have to enter in our new password twice, and we won't see the password as we are typing it. And if we ever forget our password we set for root, we can set it again at any time with the passwd command. If the normal method did not work, then we can use the nofail method. I always strive to provide a complete solution, but I don't always get updates at the same time. Again, that being said, this method should never fail. So first we can shut down Linux if it's not already shut down by right-clicking on the terminal app, and select Shut Down Linux. Once Linux has shut down, we can close out of the terminal app. After that, we can start up a cross terminal. To start up a cross terminal, we can either open the Chrome OS Chrome browser and go to the URL chrome-untrusted colon slash slash crush. This will open up a cross terminal from the Chrome OS Chrome browser. Alternatively, we can do alt Control t on our keyboard. Once we are at a cross terminal, we can first execute vmc space list. This will list the virtual machines. After that, we can execute vmc space start space termina. This will start up the termina virtual machine. Once the virtual machine has started, we can execute lxc space list. This will list the containers. After that, we can execute lxc space start space penguin. This will start the penguin container. After the container has started, we can execute lxc space list again, and we should see the penguin container is now running. After that, we can do lxc space exec space penguin space dash dash space bash. This will log us into the container as root. Now that we're in the container, we can execute who am I. From here, we should see that we are root. Now that we know that, we can execute pass wd. This will let us set the root password. Again, like before, we will have to enter in the new password twice and we won't see the password as we are typing it. Note that if we forget our password later on, we can again set our password from here with the passwd command. 
We can also set the password for the user ID by first executing cd space slash home, and then execute ls and we should see our user ID. Once we know our user ID, we can execute pass wd space our user ID. From here we can set the password for the user ID by typing in our new password twice. Now that we've set our passwords, we can start exiting out of everything. To do that, we can first execute exit and give it a moment. If it ends with the message logout, then we can press enter. After that, we can execute lxc space stop space penguin. This will stop the penguin container. If it gets stuck while stopping the container, then we can do control C on our keyboard a few times to cancel the command. And then we can instead execute lxc space stop space penguin space dash dash force. After we have stopped the container, we can execute exit to exit out of Termina. Then from here we can do vmc space stop space Termina. This will stop the Termina virtual machine. Then finally, if we are using the browser, then we can close out of the browser. Or if we are using the Crosh app, we can execute exit. Then from there, we can start up Linux normally and continue with the rest of the Kali install procedure. For more documentation on the Crosh command line, we can execute help. For additional help on the Crosh command line, we can execute help underscore advanced. Then if we want help for the VMC command, we can execute VMC space dash dash help. And for more VMC help, we can do VMC space start space dash dash help dash start. Lastly, while running inside the virtual machine, we can get help for LXC by executing LXC space dash dash help. And for more help on a specific LXC command, we can do LXC space the command space dash dash help. This will give us more information about the given LXC command. And that's all for this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon!